It's been so wet outside, I've been limited to indoor jobs this week. Mostly garlic, of course, and workshop stuff. One of the things I made this week is an inclinometer for measuring how slopey the railway is. Why didn't I just go and get a phone app, you might ask? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. The rain must have got into my brain, okay? Because <laughs> I just don't think like that. I forget what century we're living in or something. <laughs> as soon as I finished this, I thought, I wonder if there are apps that do this thing. <laughs> of course there are. Hundreds of them probably. You could get one instantly for your phone. Oh well, actually, I'm quite glad I did make a real one because I learned an interesting thing about scales. See, my sort of inclinometer is just a plumb bob hanging on a frame. The plumb bob always hangs straight down. And there's a scale that shows how far off horizontal the frame is. So very simple. So I drew a scale where the degrees are, just as if there was a large circle with the center where the plumb bob hangs from. But I didn't need all 360 degrees on the scale just a few will do because of course the rails are slopey but you know it's not a roller coaster so far so good but you see i wanted to be able to read a second scale not just degrees of inclination but a scale that shows how steep it is as a ratio so one in ten or one in twenty and so on okay now I could, <laughs> okay, yeah. I could have looked up the conversion tables, but instead I drew little boxes because it helps me visualize things like that. This box is one by 50. So a slope of one in 50 looks like this. And this is one in 40. And this one's one in 30 and one in 20 and one in 10. And obviously, they are getting steeper. But, see, not just that. They are getting exponentially steeper. And isn't that just so interesting? Don't you just love physics? Or whatever it is, mathematics, geometry, whatever it is. What a wonderful thing the world is. So, anyway, it took a while to figure this thing out in my head and to accommodate this sort of scale as well as the degrees scale because of course the degrees are evenly spaced but the ratio units are not now it's too tight to put the two scales one above the other so they're all in a line and one side of the zero is one scale and the other side is the other scale so i'll need to turn the inclinometer around so that the plumb bob hangs on the other side so I could read the other scale. Should be able to do that. Right then, does it work? I could have cut this design out on the laser machine, except then it would be made of thin wood. Um, and I'd need to do it in two halves and join them together, or it would be too small to be accurate. So instead I cut it on the plasma table, which is much bigger. But the problem with that is the plasma cuts are relatively wide so i was worried that the paths that make up the numbers they would be too close together the numbers would be too small and too close together to cut out properly i could have um, enlarged the whole design and that might have sorted it but i didn't want to use up too much steel plate but <laughs> i should have done because as it turned out the letters were too small and the cut lines merged and the zeros that were supposed to have a piece left in the middle now have big holes instead. This is a bit of a shame. Silly me. Serves me right for being so mean. Actually, it was probably close. If I'd enlarged the design just a little bit, the gaps would have been bigger and I might have kept the proper shapes. Oh. 
on the other hand it was very quick and ready to go as soon as I tied the plum bob on so then I took it between showers to the slopey bits of the railway and learned more interesting things Basically, that some places are even steeper than I thought. Two and a quarter. Less than two, just about two. One, two, three and a three and a quarter. Whew. About fifteen. One in fifteen. Wow. That's seventeen, sixteen, seventeen, something like that. Whew. Pretty steep. It's going to take quite a bit of fill just to make the rise along the rails more even let alone trying to make the whole thing rise less steeply. But at least now I have a fancy inclinometer and surely you can't have a railway without one of those. And this one never needs recharging. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, let's have a look in the dog kennel. <laughs> 